good you guys we are back in the gym and I want to start making a list of the variations that I want to start doing because I have a hard time just like deciding beforehand so I'd like to make a list um, gonna do some research on different squat variations that I could do that uh, isolate the power out of the hole I know a lot of pause work would be good um, maybe some reverse bands I don't know how that would work that, that would kind of overload the top but it would allow me to handle more weight at the bottom maybe but we'll see uh, right here I just unracked the 405 and <laughs> racked it again because I had to burp um, when I took my breath into the belt uh, some of the air was going to my stomach so if your breath doesn't feel right you probably are breathing into your your actual stomach or it's going down the wrong pipe and you just need to uh, release some of the tension so we did dead stop pin squats and I worked up to a heavy single and I wanted the pin squat to be right over uh, parallel which is where it ended up being uh, and simply this is because I wanted to isolate there because when I go for a maximum effort squat that is where I start slowing down and once I get past a certain threshold point I can finish off the squat movement as you can see um, from that squat uh, I was slowed at the bottom right after the pause or right after I hit the pins and then I speed up when my quads take over but here is Julia she did 175 pounds she went for 185 but couldn't couldn't do it but this was good for her this is above her max right there so that was good I was aiming for a little below my max so 455 um, I had just gotten out of a midterm and I wasn't 100 when I was warming up and all that stuff but I got my mind right and I got some heavy heavy squats down and these pin squats started feeling really really heavy by the end and even the back down sets were pretty hard for me but here's my 455 single felt good felt heavy but uh, we'll see how I did so right there stop and then I pushed up right here where I kind of stopped in the middle that's where I thought I was gonna drop it but because of conjugate and how it's set up I think that my grinding um, capacity has increased like uh, beforehand I would just give up on a weight and now I can stick with it and uh, fight it a little longer it was supposed to be back off sets, three sets of five or five sets of three, depending on fatigue. And I was pretty fatigued, uh, just mentally, mostly. My body was fine, but mentally I had been studying from like 10.30 to five up until the test and all weekend, like basically the past four days. So um, I had to break it down to 365, not for three sets of five, but five sets of three. And we got our work done by the last three sets of three i was smoked i was so tired um i don't know but my i knew my body could push the weight it was just i needed to get under it and face it myself so um that was the main work and here is some of my accessory work i only filmed this this day i hope that's okay with you guys um sometimes i feel like uh filming like my whole workout sometimes i feel like feel uh filming uh just my main work and some of the accessory work but this day i filmed this this was 200 pounds and we did three sets of 15 with 200 pounds uh i'm not hooking grip i'm not get, i'm not hook gripping this i'm just doing uh straight up just holding it uh because i've been using straps for my normal deadlift work so i think this uh these higher repetition uh grip work kind of things would benefit me and they have been uh this targets the hamstrings glutes and lower back and that's what i've been doing for them if you guys enjoyed the video please like the video if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and that is it for me you guys i will see you guys in the next next video so i'll see you guys later